So one of the things we have on here, and it, it's always tough, but like with your progression, I feel like this is an okay answer to ask, a question to ask. Um, you run your first professional race and you came in last place. Yeah. I know for some people that obviously that could be mentally just have you messed up. Mm-hmm. What were your thoughts and feelings after that race? So USA's, I was coming off USA's, it was like 2018, I believe. And my agent at the time wanted me to go overseas. And I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to go overseas. It's my first time. Like, yada, yada, yada. I'm thinking I'm about to beat all these girls. Like, <laughs> you know, in my hand, like, I was coming off USA's hot. Like, I hadn't, like, I finally made the final. I had PR and I was feeling good. So I get over there. Um, travel's different. I've never been, that was my first time overseas in general um so I get to Switzerland I believe Bellinzona I love that place yes <laughs> yeah I love that place um and yeah I get dead last <laughs> I remember calling my coach and like trying to find service too because I'm like trying to like you know I didn't know like you had to change your phone out there it was just so much yeah um, I was trying to call on the whatsapp I'm trying to use the wi-fi that was in the groundy area call my coach like I'm not running anymore like, I can't do track like there's no way like I was just like I'm not doing this like I just came out here and got dead last and my first like you know like first time not wearing Iowa gear so I was hurt my pride you know that race definitely humbled me <laughs> like, I was up here and coming there I was like you know put me down there <laughs> so, yes <laughs> But yeah, so it, it was, it was humbling. It was, it was hard. It wasn't, you know, it was more so emotionally taxing. Like my body felt fine. It was just like, you know, the emotional aspect of it. And like, yes, you know, dealing with the travel, dealing with new people. There's just so much newness. So like, I think I, my expectations was like, I'm going to go over there and dominate all the time. And um, that's just what it wasn't. It, <laughs> it was that's not. Okay. That's okay. So I, you know, I had a couple more races. By the time I got to my last race over there, it was in St. Kitts and Nevis. I think you were there. I think you were there in St. Kitts and Nevis. Yeah, so I did well at that last meet, and I felt good. But I definitely had to ride the waves of it all. (laughs) Yes, and so it's beautiful because you go through that experience, and then you enter your 2019 season. 